How's it going guys? It's Holly with Grindworks and today we are looking at how spring assisted knives work. You know, I've been looking at a lot of spring assisted knives lately, uh, especially because I did that, that video just a few days ago uh, about the best selling spring assisted knives on Grindworks and it got me thinking, how do these little buggers actually work? Uh, if you've been following along, you've seen we've already reviewed how OTF knives work and how automatic knives work. Uh, but now it's time to take a little peek at this Kershaw Blur. So, let's open her up. Oh, lucky. That just happened to be the right size for the pivot. And uh, I have a little confession to make. I did not practice this off screen first, so cross your fingers I don't screw this one up. <laughs> now spring assisted knives are called spring assisted because they use a spring to open, but that spring just assists in the opening. Um, you are actually providing the power by which that blade is being opened. So you have to get the blade started, so to speak, before the spring kicks in and does the rest of the work for you. So I'm actually going to open this before I take that, that handle off because I don't want the spring flying out in my face, which is probably what would happen. I must have missed a screw. Did I miss a screw? No? Nope. Somebody help me. What have I missed? Okay, I apologize for the sudden jump there, but I was struggling mightily to get this handle apart, so I had to go uh, get some backup, get some people who have a little more muscle than I do to get this apart. So we used a pry bar, got the handle off, and this is what you will find inside. So we have the liner, which has this half circle shaped opening in it. This circle right here is where the pivot screw goes through the blade to the other side of the knife, and this is the spring that is responsible for all that snappy action. Got a lot of lubrication in there to keep it moving smooth. So I'll try not to disturb that or gunk that up. But essentially what happens, the spring here, I don't actually want to remove it, but you see that it has that little tab that protrudes to the other side. This little tab goes into this little hole on the blade. So when the blade is closed and the spring is connected to it like that, you can see how the spring is prevented from going anywhere and it's held under tension against the inside of the handle right in here in this grooved space. And it's not going to go anywhere until you add even more tension by pressing on the thumb stud. And when you do that and you start to turn, start to push the blade outwards, it moves the spring past that, that barrier point and out where it's free to move. And that will propel the blade the rest of the way out. Ordinarily, when you have the pivot screw in there, it's gonna keep all of this very rigid and in its proper place. The back spacers won't be floating around like they are right now, so let me get rid of those. Holy cow, this is tricky. Whew, okay, there. It's uh, slightly more assembled now at this point. So, once again, you push on the thumb stud here. It increases the tension on that spring. But as you push it out, you allow that spring to do its thing. And it goes yee-haw, just like that, kind of, sort of. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's how a spring-assisted knife works. And of course, you know, then when you want to close the blade, you just disengage the liner lock, push it closed, and, you know, the same process in reverse will happen. The spring will get compressed and moved back into that starting position from which it cannot move until you press the thumb stud again. Now the real question is, can I put this back together and have it still work? Let's find out. What the freak? So just for the record, I do not recommend taking apart your spring assisted knife just out of curiosity because it is a beast to try and put back together. Holy crap. Plus it might void your warranty, so you know, there's that. Dude, where'd my last barrel spacer go? No. Oh. It's inside the knife. It's hiding right back there. <laughs> okay. Eureka.
Sweet, I didn't break it. <laughs> so there you go. For those of you who are curious, uh, this knife goes for about 80 bucks on the site right now. Made in the USA, designed by the legendary Ken Onion. Awesome grippy handle, good ergonomics. I'm gonna say I still like the leak better as a spring assisted knife, but uh, hey, this isn't a bad choice. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when a new video drops. I'll drop a link to this knife in the description below. And as always, we'd love to have you on grindworks.com to see all the awesome knives we have there. It's a party. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.